Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, man, hell yeah. All right, so this video is pretty cool. I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a long time. This is, uh, we're talking about basically the best vehicles to use for each business, okay? Uh, this is important because, you know, say you have one business versus the other, you want to have the right equipment, the right vehicles to help you make the most money that you can out of each business. Now listen, don't freak out. I know a lot of you, some of you may not agree, that's okay. But a lot of these vehicles can be interchanged. You can use them for all the different businesses, okay? So don't worry about that. And I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Let's start out with CEO crates, okay? The crates, I love them. Over a thousand collections made, uh, over $50 million made on CEO crates. I, it's just one of the, my favorite things to do in the game. It's peaceful, it's easy. Uh, it is a little bit of a risk though because you invest real money in, not, not real money, but you invest your GTA money into buying these and if you lose them, there is a big deal, but we all know that you can just, you know, switch lobbies or close the application to avoid being griefed or having the NPCs take you out. But honestly, for this, for doing crates, I truly do believe, and with my with my opinions and my facts that I've gathered with uh, playing the, the, the doing the crates for so long, the buzzard is going to be your best friend. Okay, the buzzard, you can spawn it directly right here with you as a CEO. Uh, now, I know people are like, Ty, Ty, what about the oppressor? What about the oppressor? I get it. The oppressor is great. However, the missions that you have with CEO, there are some that require you to go out in the water. Uh, there's a lot that require you to just kind of hover over vehicles or just kind of be stationary and take out enemy targets. Plus, if you have a few people with you and they don't have an oppressor, you can, they can all pile up into your buzzard and you can go pick up crates in one run and you're good to go. Now, once again, you can use the oppressor, that's fine, but I feel that it is better to use the buzzard overall, okay? So, here we are, uh, import-export, probably the best, oh, actually, it's not, it is the best way to make money in the game solo, uh, business by itself, and if you team this up with gun running, it is the best way to make money, period. And I love import-export, it's really fun, it's, it's a different type of way of making money in the game, it's not a crate. It's not something you just sit on, you're stealing cars, you modify them, and you can go sell them. And it's really, really good money. And uh, now, once again, you don't have to use any extra vehicle for this, actually. You don't have to do anything. All you need is the, is the car that you've stolen, and you can take care of it from there. And I've showed you that before in other videos. But if you're going to use a vehicle, the best vehicle to use for import-export is the cargo bob. And for that reason right there, you can literally tow the car through the air without being shot it takes no time at all now listen there is some skill involved with this you do have to be kind of you know patient and know how to, to fly the cargo bob and hover right over the vehicle to hook it and go but that is one of the best ways to get the cars through in this so if you are to use a vehicle and you know how to do that once again i got plenty of videos on that check them out i have a how to make money tutorial playlist and it talks about using the cargo bob with import export um but yeah that's it's so much fun it's really cool to use that and it does have a little bit of armor, too, with the cargo bomb. It can take an RPG before it goes down. And it's just really, really fun. I like that. So let's move on to the hangar business. I know a lot of you guys don't like it. I, I enjoy the hangar business. It's fun. And once again, this is another one of the businesses where you don't have to use any um, you know external vehicle. It provides you with everything you need in the hangar business, okay? The planes that they give you for the missions are actually, you can do every one of the missions with those planes. Now, it may not be the most efficient, it may not be the fastest, but you don't have to waste any money on uh, any kind of external vehicles to get it done. Now, I do use uh, one other vehicle besides the, the main one I'm about to show you here. And that's just for one uh, particular mission. I use my buzzard to do the stunt mission for this. Like where you have to fly under the bridges and you know in between the buildings. Instead of using the stunt plane they give you, I use my buzzard. But overall, for the majority of all these missions, it's going to be the Hydra. The Hydra is my favorite to use with the hangar missions. Um, basically, with the Hydra, it acts almost like it's, it's like a hybrid. You can use it as a helicopter or as a plane. It's got explosive ammo, so if you you know there's some missions where you have to do bombing runs, you can just dive bomb with your uh, with your explosive cannons, and it's it takes care of it just as good, if not better, than you know strafing with bombs or some of these uh, planes or choppers that give you. It's fast enough. There's some missions where you have to like hover around buildings and things like that. It works perfect for that. You can just lock on with the missiles. Uh, it's infinite missiles. That's another reason why I don't like the oppressor with the crates. Uh, you, you run out of missiles, you know what I mean? So it's kind of a, a bummer. Now you can be an MC and spawn it. I'll show, I'll, we'll talk about that later. 
Uh, but yeah, the Hydra is the, is the better one to go with. So moving on to the Bunker. Bunker is the best passive way to make money in the game. And when you couple it with import-export, like I was saying before, it's the best one to punch in the game. You'll make a lot of money that way. And the bunker, the thing is with this is I do, I buy my supplies a lot with the bunker because it's much more efficient time to money ratio. Uh, so I don't really use a lot of, you know, external vehicles. I don't use a lot of personal vehicles with the bunker, you know, so you, you can do the majority of everything you need with the bunker by just buying the sales and then using the sale vehicles. And, you know, you can do it solo. I've showed you how to do it solo. You can do it with friends, no problem at all. But if you are to use a vehicle, once again, the better vehicle to use, there is two of them, but I, the primary one that I use, it's going to be the buzzard. The buzzard is, if I do steal missions, I just use my buzzard. I fly over there. I can have some friends pile up in there with me. We can hover over a certain target. We can go from point A to point B a lot easier, land easier, uh, unlimited missiles. If you have to use them, it's no big deal. I've even used the buzzard as a roadblock before. It doesn't work that well, but it does slow down vehicles so you can ambush them and uh, and go about your business and get that crate. Now let's get into the biker MC businesses. They're really fun. I love the biker MC businesses. Um, Carl, excuse me. Car can, let me get by. Excuse me, sir. Come on. Jesus. God dang it. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so the biker MC, you got the cocaina, you got your meth, you got your counterfeit cash, you got your weed, you got your document forgery, all really cool, right? Uh, the best vehicle for this, hands down, is going to be the oppressor. This is where the oppressor really shines. Uh, as a MC organization, you can spawn your motorcycles, kind of like you spawn your buzzard for the CEO. You can spawn them right next to you. Uh, they cut down on time a lot, but like I said... There is uh, a learning curve with the oppressor. They are kind of a pain in the ass to drive around and fly if you're not used to them. But just like anything, it's practice makes perfect, right? So just like with your cargo bob, you have to get the hang of that to fly around to hook up the cars. It's the same with your oppressor. Now, I know a lot of you are freaking out. You're like, Ty, the oppressor is the greatest thing ever. You can use it for so many things. And that is true. You absolutely can. Uh, the oppressor can be used. You know, Like I said before in the beginning, a lot of these vehicles are interchangeable. It really does come down to your preference. I'm just giving you my experience, you know, I, I've made over 250 million legit in the game, so I have an idea of what I'm talking about. The oppressor is great. I know a lot of people out there like to use it. It is very, very fast, and it can get you around point A to point B. Uh, however, but it does have some of those limitations, though, which that's why I, I would say that it's best overall for the biker business. Uh, and, you know, you can't use it for the hangers. There's really no need to use it for import-export. But for the biker business, it really does shine. It is the absolute best vehicle to use for your biker business. It, it tears it up. If you have a, um, you know, say you have a couple of things you have to go out there and get to. Say you have a post-op truck sale. You got three post-op trucks. You can spawn in your, uh, your oppressor. You can go back and forth between the trucks very, very quickly. And you can actually by yourself sell three post-op trucks, which is like unheard of, right? Uh, it takes some skill, but you can do that, all right? Now, right here, we're going to be talking about some vehicles that can be used for all the businesses and they help out a lot. The Duke of Death. For a lot of players, it is free because you're a returning player. For me, I had to pay for it, but it still wasn't that bad. It wasn't that, you know, compared to some of the other vehicles, it's not that expensive. And for the use you get out of the Duke of Death, it's extremely worth it. It's got a lot of good armor to it. It's not the best against NPCs. They can shoot through the windows, but not that bad. It really is good. And it does give you one RPG of protection or one explosive round of protection. Then we have the Karuma. The Karuma is the best vehicle, hands down, against NPC gunfire. NPC gunfire just does not penetrate the openings of the Karuma that well at all. Only downside is that it has uh, no explosive um, defense. There's really no explosive armor. But against NPCs, it is extremely rare. There's only a few missions where they'll launch explosive at you. So you really don't have to worry about that. So the Duke of Death... The Karuma, you can use these for everything but the hangar mission, really. Your smugglers run stuff. Now, the Savage is kind of in the same category as your Akula and your Hunter. Good choppers to use, but not the best for any of the businesses. And out of the three big choppers, I'm going to say your Savage would be best overall. For The pilot can use all weapons, so it's good for solo, and you can have four people in there as well. So really good with the Savage. So in my opinion, the Savage would be the better of the choppers uh, in regard to the Akula and the hunter for you know for your businesses um i know the akula you can you can go off the radar and things like that 
but a lot of those missions that this wouldn't help out that much and if you're solo once again the savage would be your better bet but they're all three of those are very very good all three of those choppers would work out for you uh but they're they just don't make my top list so i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you got any questions and comments down below make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illness and reels content again make sure you smash i mean it's must smash that like button stay dangerous we'll see you in the next one peace